morning is we have the airport grill there in New Bedford. It's uh, a restaurant right there, right in the airport. You can watch the planes take off and land. You yep, can eat right, right there on the runway. Not, not, on the runway. <laughs> not on the runway, but you get the view from the dining room. It's really, really beautiful. We have windows all across the dining room. It's it's gorgeous inside. So. That's really cool. Yeah. This is Chef Robert Cassie. He's going to make some scallops for us this morning. And how are you going to scallops? Yeah, how are you going to put these together? We are actually uh, we actually have some uh, house cured uh, pork belly that we uh, already cooked off a little bit. Okay. Some beluga lentils that we're going to sear off with a little bit of butter. Some, some what? shallots, butter, Bel beluga, beluga lentils. Okay, I they're think actually, of beluga. I think of whales. Uh, they're actually named for beluga caviar. Uh, oh. The little bit, small bit size guys, uh, black ca uh, black caviar, obviously, and black lentils. So nice. And then we're going to uh, pan sear. Pan roast, some Brussels sprouts, and a little bit of uh, my concoction of a uh, little bit of blended oil and a little bit of chicken fat. It gives it an extra flavor in there. Uh, and then top it all off with the red wine gastrique over here. Wow. So. All right. I think I'm looking forward to the Chef Robert concoction. <laughs> <laughs> Who tests those out? You uh, I test you them out. out. My line, my staff, everybody tests <laughs> them out. So. We, uh, we go forward with it. It's really nice. So far, so good. All right, they approve. You can find the recipe and the ingredients online, as always, at foxprovidence.com. Looking forward to cooking with the Airport Grill this morning on the road show. But for now, back to you. I love it when a chef calls me the sous chef. I'm here with Robert <laughs> Cassie. We're going to be making a um, pan seared scallops with like a Brussels sprout mixture. Brussels sprouts, beluga lentil, yeah. and a little bit of house cured bacon in there. Sounds like an interesting combination. We yes. have our bowl of Brussels sprouts here and again you know this is one of those vegetables that everybody's in love with but with the right flavor mixed in it can it's, be good. It's really the right flavor my mother actually used to make them and she's gonna hate me for doing yeah. this on TV but I never used to like them because she always <gasps> over braised them and they oh. just didn't taste good they taste like boiled cabbage. And Mom don't over braise. So, so we're, we're actually do first? we're actually gonna get a little little bit of oil this is actually one of the things that I was calling my own thing this is a little bit of rendered chicken fat and vegetable oil okay and it's really just gives some extra depth of flavor give it a lot of unctuousness give mm -hmm. it a lot of beauty in the Brussels sprouts so okay let me put in just go ahead and put those in there we're gonna get them uh pretty much we want to do it on a high heat get them a good hard sear on it get some caramelization almost to the point that the leaves on the outside aren't totally black and burnt, but they actually have that good caramelization gotcha. on the outside. Okay. So we're going to let this go for a second. We're actually going to season a little bit of salt and white pepper. The only reason why I like white pepper in the restaurants is obviously you don't get that big bite of black yeah. pepper unless we really, really, really want it. Okay. So. And that's the only thing that we need to keep this nice and flavored, right? Really? I'm, honestly, the chicken fat, you'd be really surprised. A little bit of good fat yeah. in there or the good lipids that go in there. Uh, good Brussels sprouts and salt and pepper. Okay. It brings that whole thing beautiful. All right. Sounds good, Robert. We're going to get the rest of the dish going in just a minute, and then we'll head things back over to you. Welcome back in the Rocho Kitchen this morning. We've got Airport Grill from New Bedford, right? New Here Bedford on the Mass, show yes. this morning. And Robert Cassie, you're cooking up a fabulous scallop dish for us today. I'm yes. excited for this one. Definitely so. We're doing uh, a little bit of seared scallops, some uh, beluga lentils with a house-cured pork belly. Uh, and pan roasted Brussels sprouts. Everybody thinks about their grandmother's house. I know mm. you were saying that earlier. Yeah. Uh, but it's really nice. We're doing them a little bit more reinvented, doing a hard sear on them, getting some caramelization. Mm. Beautiful stuff. So. Okay. You don't like Brussels sprouts? Well, what do you think about Brussels sprouts? Like I in love their them. pure form, you're okay with it? I eat them raw. Do you? Yeah. No, you sure know, I, I think it's one of those, like, I haven't had them in so long, you still think of the childhood memory of them, but trying them today. Makes me forget about all that. No, they're, so. de they're delicious. You yeah. get a good hard sear, and it's just, it's beautiful stuff. So right. you really can't beat it. I've never had beluga whale. Um, yeah, lentil. Is lentils, this like a caviar uh, lentil? Caviars. Like, what is this? This is not a caviar lentil. Okay. They're actually called beluga lentils. Okay. Uh, actually named for the beluga caviar, obviously, because mm -hmm. they're black and small, just like the caviar is. Yeah. But they're also black lentils, beluga lentils. Um, but it's not a, fish. It's a vegetable. It's a vegetable. Okay. Well, it's a, it's a starch vegetable, legume. All that okay. other good name that, stuff. Name that legume. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Nice. Okay. So what we got going on right now is we're actually just rendering off some uh, some of the uh, pork belly that we actually cured in house. We actually cured this with a little bit of pink salt for about four days, and we braised it off. Wow. It's really really nice. Uh, if you don't have this, honestly, the best substitution is just bacon. Bacon. Okay. You know, easy enough. Just get, get some shallots in there. Mm -hmm. Just get them uh, slowly going. Now I, I've been told that scallops they come in different sizes, and you have like different like measurements for them oh, or yeah. something. What There's bay scallops. And yeah. Bay scallops are obviously the, the smaller ones, scallops. Yeah. Uh, they come from the bay. These are uh, diver uh, diver day boat scallops. Uh, mm -hmm. The U10s, which is one of the bigger That's ones. That's what I was thinking right. of, the U10s. They're really, really nice. Uh, they're delicious. They just have a great sweetness to them. Mm. Uh, we try to cook them about medium at the restaurant. Um, they just bring out a great uh, caramelization on, on the outside, and they're just absolutely delicious. Massive. Again, yes. 
So we're going to have you actually start searing those off once this pan gets nice and hot, which it actually starts is so you can throw them down there. Put them in there? Please. All right. And then they don't take too, too long to cook. Nope. Yep. We're going to actually just get them face down, get mm -hmm. some caramelization on that one side, try to get them in the middle of the heat. Okay. Or you're just going to sear them up nicely. Can I well, put the belugas in yet? Please. Throw <laughs> Not the whole those. bowl, though, right? No, no, no. Okay. Just a little bit. Maybe about a half cup or so. That good? Uh, a little bit more. Two more scoops. Can you eat them like this, or do you have to cook them? We actually cooked them in the restaurant uh, yeah. yesterday. We actually bloomed them with a little bit of chicken stock, just to give it some back flavor. Okay. A little bay, bay leaves to round out the flavor. Mm -hmm. That's really it. Uh, once you add salt and vinegar to lentils, you actually stop the cooking process, so you can't add that stuff yet. Uh, I see. Okay. You gotta wait till they're nice and tender, and then add that wow. those things in there. It's like, it's like being a doctor. Uh, he's <laughs> totally <laughs> got it down over here. This is great. No, it's really nice. We're just gonna rebase some of these scallops right there. Mm -hmm. Just get some of that nice oil back on top of them. Really get them good and caramelized on there. Yep. And uh, really, that's all we're doing right now. It's just okay. getting everything going. And you so, have some that are actually fully cooked over there, We right? actually have yep. a plate that's fully cooked, so when you when How long we're would ready, you cook this for? How long would you how long would this go for? Honestly, salt and pepper, taste it, make sure that it tastes good, we're good to go. So okay. if you want to, you know, okay. you know get yeah, it going. Yeah, we, we wanted to get a glimpse of your restaurant. Yeah. I understand you brought some photos. I've never seen no, it. No, look no, at yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Wow. This is actually our hangar right now. It looks onto the uh, onto the runway. Mm -hmm. That's our fireplace we actually beautiful. have for the wintertime, which is absolutely beautiful in there. Nice heaters in there, so you can actually feel like you're sitting outside during the winter. I have to tell you, I, I love going to airports, even when I'm not going away. They're fascinating <laughs> places. Seriously, when, they, when they're always, there's always movement, something to see. It must be fun to work at a restaurant it like that. It is you know? absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. I'll tell you one thing that's that's really nice is that... Oh, crap, it's true. You go to the airport and look at it like, wow, I used to do that, that as a kid. I'm not kidding. No, yeah. my line, actually, I have an open line, and yeah. we look directly onto the runway, so yeah. it's really nice. We actually had a huge jet come in, mm -hmm. and my whole line in the middle of the rush Friday night... Like, stops and just, you uh -huh. know, we're just like looking at things and the kid, you know, everybody's looking on us and they yeah. stop into their heads. It was just really great. Well, so. we only have a few seconds, right, so we'll let's get our uh, finished product So out we're actually going to just it. move to, this, to the side. Actually, yep. I plate up our scallops right nicely on top of our nice. roasted Brussels sprouts. And the last thing that we're really going to do is hit it with the red wine gastric. This is just a mixture of red wine vinegar, some sugar. We actually highlight that with a little bit of black pepper and it's really nice bite in there. And I always like to garnish with uh, a little bit of Allen Farms uh, pea greens. Mm. She does a really right. great job. All of her stuff is uh, organic from Westport, and Look just that. amazing things. Well, so. we'll try that, uh, Chef Robert Cassie. Thank, thank you so much for coming. Not a problem. Thank you. Let's thank come you see you in New Bedford sometime. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you.